What's up everyone? Thanks so much for tuning in. So today it's a new lawn cutting video. So I'll give you an update on the Craftsman mower. After a carp clean, the mower started on the first pole. It's awesome. And I think the following week later, uh, my other client gave me his trimmer for free. So I have no idea if this runs or not. It looks identical to my Z25 SD I featured last time. However, this is a curved shaft D630CD. It's a DX series and it's got a little bit larger motor, 30cc. So for Volvo BM, uh, he requested to see the 1991 Lawnboy M series in action. So I'll be filming that one. A lot of you have requested to see the KM91 in action, so that's what I'll do. And I will feature uh, the BG55 for my leaf blower. Okay, so let's go start up the KM91 and away we go. So here it is guys, the steel KM91R that I bought this summer. I've always wanted to have a combi unit since it's pretty useful to have several attachments. At this time I only have the FSKM attachment which was $100. Uh, the power head was about $400 Canadian. So, very identical to the 90 except it has some cosmetic changes like a uh, different color uh, muffler plate, uh, the valves and the spark plug are hidden inside this uh, little housing uh, bigger gas tank uh, different stop switch like the 94 and most importantly it has semi-automatic choke that the 90 110 and 130 did not have so we're gonna put it to choke Prime it like a couple of times. I think two should be fine. So let's see how this piece starts. First pull. Sweet. Alright, let's get cutting.
Beautiful. I love the sound of the Formix, especially when it's pretty much brand new. So this one here is a 1991 CM21 EMRA. Uh, has electric start and has a three-speed Kenzaki transmission. So that's where it is. The K indicates the 1991 model. Now this is the very first year, well, sorry, it's the very only lawn boy that seems to have fuel injection. However, mine is disabled. I think uh, YouTube user Eric Bond uh, has messaged me on by email saying uh, how to tell the fuel injection works. I honestly really don't know because I haven't really worked with a lot of M's. Uh, however, I mean, I'm just going to go out on a limb and say if uh, you notice that your two cycle oil is starting to be used up, and then it says to say that it could be working. Uh, so these engines are geared to run on a 64 to 1 gas oil mix. Since my injection is disabled, I just use a 50 to 1 gas oil mix with steel oil. Okay, so. Let's get started and put some gas and start it up. Okay, so dumping in some gas. The only thing I really don't like about the M, well, there's a couple of things really. Um, the fact that it's so rare, parts are extremely hard to come by, if not impossible. Just the transmission alone is about 600 bucks US to replace if it cacks out on me. Which is why uh, you should go for the later M series, the 93 to 94 series, uh, the 10590 and 10591. Um, and the fact that it's very heavy. I mean, the deck is magnesium, but with all the motor and the starter motor weighing it down, it's really, really heavy. But you cannot beat the power and the sound of this. this imported engine. Okay, so I think that should be fine. Okay, so I haven't used this lawnmower in, in about three weeks, so it may take a little while to get it going, but once she's done or started up, she's a good old beast. Uh, yeah, you can see. First, let me adjust the height. I always have the Maxim, so that way we can get a few more line cutting videos before the end of the season. Okay, so no prime, the fuel valve is on for the Makuni carburetor, five jets, all the way to choke.
What a beautiful machine. Okay, to end off the video, we're gonna feature the steel BG55 leaf blower. Uh, this is a 27cc two-stroke. They still make them as the BG50. Okay, so put on choke, turn it on. A couple primers to do the trick. Okay, so let's start this one up. Good old reliable. I think the spark crusher screen might need of a bit of a cleaning, but I'm not just a great blower. Okay, so that's the video featuring the 2009 Steel BG55 leaf blower, 2017 KM91R Formix, and the 1991 Longboy M series, the CM21E MRA. So. I have to say, this is probably the best October we have yet. The temperature right now is about 21 degrees Celsius, which is 10 degrees above average, considering last October was freezing. So we might at least do two or three lawn cutting videos. I'm not sure on, on how the grass is growing so far. It's really pushing up, especially that I'm cutting pretty high, so that way we can do some more lawn vids. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you enjoy it. And let me know what you want to me to feature next time. I probably will save the 5127 for last, but what's available, let's see. Um, pretty much anything. If you want me to do a repeat, I'll gladly do one. And again, the Craftsman does run, but that home light does not run. I just have to clean the carburetor, which I'll probably do sometime in the spring time. Beautiful. All right, guys, enjoy the beautiful Sunday evening. It sucks that it gets dark around six o'clock, which is in half an hour from now, but oh well, winter's coming and maybe good, maybe not so good, so we'll have to see. All right, guys, enjoy.